Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the kit lens I got with the Lumix S5. It's a 20 to 60 millimeter S series lens, and here's why I love it. I love this lens for its focal lens. It's got 20, 24, 35, 50, and 60. All great focal lens. I love using 50mm as I find it's the closest to the human eye and I love a good wide lens so I, I use 24mm and 35mm a lot for interview setups. I love how it has a 60 on it as well which is just a little bit further than the 50 to just punch in when you need to. It has a great zoom on it, so I found when I was vlogging last week for last week's video, I found that I could punch in quite a lot when I needed to, and that was great when I was out over and about because sometimes a 15 or 16 to 35 millimeter lens won't quite reach that distance, but this it goes all the way up to 60 millimeter, so you can zoom right in, so you don't need to go changing lenses to capture that moment. Another reason why I love this lens, it has a beautiful bokeh to it. But that's because it's a full frame camera as well. But I find that the lens combination with the camera at different focal lengths, and if you get the lighting right, you can create really nice depth to it and a beautiful blurry bokeh to create this really nice depth of field. And that's what APS-C cameras were lacking. I find it didn't have a very nice bokeh to it and you couldn't really create very good depth of feel or that cinematic look with it. However with this one I found that in certain lighting conditions you can create a beautiful bokeh to it and really just focal, focus in on your subject at hand. Now I've gotten used to the autofocus on this before. I was, I didn't know what settings to have it in but I changed a couple of the settings and I find that all good autofocus is great. I'm doing it right now and it's got a massive box around my head and it's focused in on my eyeball so it doesn't lose focus of my eye, it keeps it in track all the time. And I found this is great and with this lens it's been fantastic. But also the, the dials on it, the manual focus dial, is because it's brand new it's so smooth and sharp and it's really nice feel. Even though the Canon, the Canon kit lens had a 15 to 45 millimeter, wait there, 15 to 45 millimeter in there, and it, even though it was you, this this lens, you could just turn it like this, it had no, like you can slowly pull it, it had no resistance to it, it just had this really, like, so it was so hard to get everything bang sharp in focus. Whereas with this camera, sorry, with this camera, it, it, it's got this really nice manual feel to it, and you can smoothly turn the manual focus as well as the zoom lens. I found this lens, it's been a great setup for myself as I'm a sort of run and gun filmmaker as some people would call it. I find that I just I just don't want to go changing lenses, I just want to have one that can do the whole thing for it and this lens is a prime example of that. And yeah, it, they're not as good as you know some prime lenses but this S series lens is fantastic. And I've been looking into other S-series lenses, and I know they do a 24mm one and a 51, but both of those focal lengths are there, in there. I know it doesn't have quite the low f-stop, but it still has a nice blurry bokeh to it to create a cinematic feel. I also love the weight of this lens. It's not too heavy, and it fits this camera perfectly to have a really nice balanced feel to it, so it's not tipping one way or the other. It is exactly the center of gravity where you need it so it's not falling or anything like that so I find that fantastic especially when you have it on like a like a stick you're vlogging on or if you have it on a tripod you know there's no tilt or anything to it it's perfectly balanced to the camera now the photos on it are also great I've been snapping away some fantastic photos and I find that they're really sharp and crisp at first I thought they were really blurry but it's just I haven't got the focus right but when you get it right and you nail it on, it is really sharp and crisp. And it, it's great for photography because you've got the, the, the range of focal length as well. I can't stress that enough how important and valuable that is for a sort of content creator, filmmaker. You need to be able to be flexible and adaptable and fast paced. And all these lenses now, yeah, they, some of them look fantastic, but you need to be able to 
turn on the camera quickly and get it either snap away or start shooting and be able to either punch in or you know start vlogging in the moment and you need the wide to the zoom and you know I'm sure there is wider you know longer focal lengths you can get like you know ranging but I think this is a perfect amount because you don't lose the quality throughout the focal length so all the way from 20 to 60 you will gain all the quality right the way through. Now I also love the size of this. For a telephoto lens it is really small and compact and even when you punch it out to 60 millimeters it still doesn't grow too far so it is a really small compact system that can be used for various range of projects and I think this is a fantastic kit overall with the Lumix and everything in with it. I, you'd be stupid to not get one of these I feel because it doesn't have you know some things the Canons and Sony does but for the price and the quality of it you ca you cannot fault it and I'm very impressed with it and I'm, I'm still trying to write up my review on it at the moment I think it's going to be a couple of weeks time but it, it's a fantastic overall piece of kit and I'm really impressed with the quality with it. Overall I think this is a fantastic kit lens to come with the S5 it has a great range of focal lens and the size and weight of it is fantastic once again, thank you for watching this video, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about this lens or the S5 or anything, just let me know. Hit me up in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you and open a conversation about this camera, about the lens and about the capabilities it can do for content creation. So let me know your opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to like it, probably said that already, but don't forget to like it, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.